how can we possibly end such a year that has been nothing short of booming? Well, SpaceX has an answer to that. Adding to the excitement, the company's leader, Elon Musk, stirred things up with a confirmed launch date. Meanwhile, India has taken a significant step forward for its future missions. In contrast, China's aerospace industry has experienced an unexpected change at the helm. We've got a lot to talk about, especially since this will be the last episode of Great SpaceX to cap off 2024. So without further ado, let's begin. 2025 is shaping up to be an exciting year for SpaceX, especially for the Starship program. The journey begins with Flight 7, which has been the focus of significant activity in recent weeks. After conducting powerful static fire tests, the stages of Flight 7 were returned to the production site for further inspection and preparation. B-14 arrived back at the site on December 10th, while Ship 33 followed a week later on December 17th. These checks are critical steps to ensure that both stages are fully ready for their next milestone, the journey to the launch pad. Hints about the imminent move to the launch pad emerged through road closure schedules published a few days ago. True to schedule, B-14 was moved to the Mega Bay doors on December 30th. By 13 past 4 that afternoon, B-14, secured on its transport stand, officially rolled out of the Mega Bay. One notable feature of B-14 was immediately apparent. Its crown, or hot staging ring, was prominently visible atop the booster. This marks a key element in SpaceX's evolving design for Starship launches. Additionally, SpaceX conducted visible operations with the grid fins, likely to address concerns raised earlier this month. Observers had noted potential issues with B-14's top section during its December 10th post-static fire checks, but these tests seem to have confirmed the booster's readiness. The booster's move to the launch pad took approximately two hours. By the time of this update, B-14 had reached the center of the chopsticks, signaling its imminent lift onto the OLM, or Orbital Launch Mount. Once positioned, B-14 will wait for S-33 to join it. S-33, however, returned to the production site later than B-14, and its checks are likely still ongoing. This process is particularly significant as S-33 is the first prototype of the Starship version 2, setting high expectations for its performance and features. Key systems undergoing inspection include its heat shield, engines, and flaps. Speculation also swirls about the possibility of some payload being integrated into S-33, adding further intrigue to this milestone flight. At the current pace of operations, S-33 is expected to roll out later this week. Once it arrives at the launch pad, it'll be stacked on B-14 for integration testing. The timeline suggests that a wet dress rehearsal could take place in the second week of January, possibly on the 6th. However, as always, confirmation will depend on updated road closure schedules. Once the WDR is complete, SpaceX will finalize preparations, including the installation of the FTS, or Flight Termination System, paving the way for the anticipated launch. Speaking of the launch, recent developments have shed light on the schedule for Flight 7. A few days ago, the FAA's advisory details listed January 10th as the primary launch date, with backup dates spanning January 11th to the 16th. While this document was later deleted, raising questions about its accuracy, Musk quickly put those doubts to rest. Responding to a query on X, Musk succinctly confirmed the date, stating 10th. If the schedule holds, Flight 7 will launch on January 10th of 2025, just 52 days after Flight 6. This turnaround time, while slightly longer than the gap between Flights 5 and 6, represents an impressive improvement over earlier intervals. Much of this progress can be attributed to the streamlined FAA approval process. With the FAA currently reviewing a proposal for up to 25 Starlink launches, I'm sorry, Starship launches in 2025, Turnaround times could shorten even further, potentially averaging just two weeks between flights. Such a cadence would align with SpaceX's ambitious goal of achieving two flights per month. Are you ready for Flight 7? Let us know by replying 7 in the comments down below.
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's journey into the future. Back to Starship, beyond the recent developments, we're set to witness several additional updates to the vehicle and its infrastructure at Starbase. Starting with B-14, this marks the first time it's paired with Starship V-2, and it has undergone significant reinforcements. The booster's body has been enhanced with stringers to increase durability. Additionally, following some testing issues, the grid fin system has been modified. These upgrades are crucial since SpaceX plans to catch the booster with Mechazilla arms on the next flight. Alongside the grid fins, the engines will also receive upgrades, not only to support navigation and deceleration, but also to prevent fires like those observed during Flight 5. Similarly, we can expect notable changes on Ship 33. Updates to its heat shield, flaps, and overall design have been widely discussed, but there may have been other modifications yet to be revealed. These enhancements will play a critical role in enabling S-33 to ascend, conduct in-space operations, and successfully re-enter and land. Supporting Starship's performance is the robust ground system infrastructure. The chopstick system has been equipped with new lifting pins designed to accommodate the V-2 version of Starship. Both the OLM and the protective wall have been reinforced and repainted, preparing them for the intense launch cadence planned for 2025. Over at Pad B, work is progressing on the launch tower. Components like the OLM, flame bucket, and chopstick systems have been photographed in advanced stages of readiness, signaling imminent installation. With all these preparations, SpaceX is poised to scale up operations as soon as the green light for the next launch is granted. This momentum will undoubtedly widen SpaceX's lead over its competitors, bringing humanity closer to reaching the moon and Mars. Are you ready for that future? Now that we've covered Starship updates, lest Lest. Let's shift focus to India and its recent advancements in space technology. At 11.30 Eastern on December 30th, the Indian Space Research Organization successfully launched the PSLVC-60 rocket, which carried two satellites for the Space Docking Experiment, or SPODEX, into orbit. This mission marked a significant milestone as it demonstrated India's docking technology for the first time, an essential capability for building a space station and returning lunar samples in the future. Following the mission, ISRO Chairman S. Samanat expressed his satisfaction, stating, I'm really happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the launch of PSLV-60 for the SPODEX mission. The rocket has placed the satellites in the right orbit. The two satellites, named Chaser and Target, each weigh about 220 kilograms. They are designed to autonomously rendezvous and dock with each other in orbit while conducting various experiments. According to ISRO, after successful docking and rigidization, electrical power transfer between the two satellites will be demonstrated before undocking and separation to begin their respective payload operations. With an expected mission life of up to two years, if all goes as planned, the satellites could dock for the first time on January 7th. Highlighting the significance of this technology, ISRO officials noted, This technology is essential for India's space ambitions, such as Indian on Moon. Sample return from the Moon, the building and operation of Bharatiya Antarksh Station, or BAS, and etc. In-space docking technology is essential when multiple rocket launches are required to achieve common mission objectives. One major mission relying on this technology is the Chandrayaan-4 Lunar Sample Return mission slated for 2028. This mission will integrate a sample return vehicle and a return capsule. India's progress underscores its determination to become a key player in the global space race. With such advancements, it's clear that ISRO is a force to be reckoned with. Let's see how far they can go in the years to come. And for our final update, let's shift our attention to China, where a significant change in aerospace leadership is underway. The current head of the China National Space Administration, or CNSA for short, Zhang Kujian, is set to step down after more than six years in office, having served since May of 2018. Zhang will be succeeded by Shan Zhongdu, whose impressive career 
includes serving as the president of Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, holding various leadership roles at the China Academy of Machinery, Science, and Technology, and most recently serving as one of the vice ministers of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology in early 2024. Under Zhang's leadership, China made remarkable progress in lunar exploration, Mars missions, and the development of its space station while laying the groundwork for crewed lunar missions and a potential moon base. Shan Zhongde is expected to build on these achievements and drive further innovation in China's space ambitions. However, the sudden and somewhat surprising leadership change raises questions. Positive transitions often involve reappointments, promotions, or retirements, and Zhang, now 63, may simply be retiring. Yet the announcement on December 26th included Zhang's removal from his role as party secretary of the State Administration for National Defense Science, Technology, and Industry, hinting at potential underlying issues. Given that the head of SASTIND also oversees CNSA and the China Atomic Energy Authority, or CAEA, these changes could have broader implications. In contrast, NASA is preparing for a leadership transition as well, with Jared Isaacman set to succeed Bill Nelson. Unlike the situation in China, this shift reflects a positive and planned change. For China, however, the future of its space program under Shan Zhongde remains uncertain. All eyes will be on how this leadership change shapes the nation's ambitious aerospace agenda. As always, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, wishing you and your loved ones a very happy new year. Until next year, keep looking up.